stand number two today. <clears throat> I hunted earlier this morning. I had a decent morning. We had does around us most of the morning, around me. I'm actually hunting by myself, filming myself. So um, that's a little bit of a challenge, but I like it. I mean, you've got less noise, less scent in the woods, and it's really not all that hard. The way I got my camera arm set up, so. Like I said earlier, stand number two of the day. It's a little warm. It was 71 when I walked in. Came in about 3 o'clock. Wanted to get in early. Uh, like I said, it's a little warm. Let's see what happens. find a pretty good amount of blood up through here. I don't think he's far. Right there he is. Big white belly and rack sticking up. That's what you like to see. I'll tell you what, it was a long sleepless night. Um, I shot this buck yesterday evening and it was getting pretty low light for the camera and I couldn't tell where I did him at. I couldn't find my arrow so I decided just to back out. I didn't want to bump him. So I came back early this morning and found a good bit of blood and found out why I didn't find my arrow. My arrow hadn't actually gone all the way through it. It broke off and I found it about 75 yards out of the field. But we tracked him to here. This is what you like to see. Um, this is what you gotta do if you're not sure about your shot. And just go ahead and back out, wait till morning. There's no use bumping a deer like this all over the woods. You'll bump in the wood, you'll probably never find it. This deer actually didn't go but about, I'd say 150 yards, so, man, I'm excited. Well, folks, I ended up just finding this, finding this big old tin. Uh, like I said earlier, I ended up shooting him yesterday evening, and it was getting a little past camera light, but it was still shooting light. Anybody that's filmed uh, knows there's about a 15 to 20 minute area there that the camera will just not pick up enough light, but you can still see see just fine. See the bend your bow and it's legal shooting lights. So it was hard for me to pass this deer up. I got a little bit of footage of him, but um, anyways, I'm I'm tickled as can be. Uh, he was in some higher grass, and I couldn't find my air last night, but. I, I felt like I made a pretty good shot on him, but I decided to go on and back out uh, last night and just wait till this morning, come back and find him. And, uh, it didn't take long at all. I uh, came back and saw where he crossed the fence and ended up tracking him there up a little up a little drainage ditch. And found him laying here, but he's a giant buck. He's, he's one of the biggest bucks I've ever killed. He's he's definitely he's definitely probably top two or three. Uh, and maybe the top, but he's a real nice 10. Um, carries his mask good. He's got good long twos, good long threes, uh, good mass around his bases. Uh, I couldn't be any happier uh, with this deer. So um, uh, it's just a just a good early season bow hunt. Uh, they sure are pretty this time of year. This deer, man, I've I've had trail camera pictures of him all summer. Uh, I thought it was that deer when he came into the field last night. I wasn't sure. I was pretty sure, but I didn't want to get too excited. Uh, I've been 
this is a deer I was actually trying to hunt. Um, I think he's probably probably a 150s class deer. So uh, we're, I'm just just happy I was fortunate enough to to get a good clean shot on him. Um, shot him with the Hoyt Alpha Max 32 Rage Broadhead. Uh, ended up uh, finding him here in the field. Uh, all my cattle are in it. They they kind of helped me find them. I got a little stampede actually when I come in here to look for them. But uh, it's a good buck. I couldn't be happier. Uh, get him out of here. Go get him checked in. Uh, get his hide off. And uh, just to look back and enjoy this hunt. It was it was definitely a hunt to remember. So, get him out of here. Take him. Check him in.